Hey guys, Steve here, and welcome back to another SG Creation. Hey guys, Steve here, and welcome back to another SG Creation, where I spotlight all the customs I made, whether it be an engine, rolling stock, or building. And today, we have Trackmaster Custom Vinny from North America. I want to say America, but that's what everyone's calling him, North America, or known as Vinny the Big Bully. So, let me give you a little background for those of you who don't know who Vinny is. Vinny is a character introduced from the Great Race, and and he's one of the competitors for competing in, and he's competing for the strongest, the strongest engine competition. And it was un, it's unknown who actually won, but my guess is on Vinny only because he looks completely strong and he had a little head, head start, if you've seen the movie. Vinny is known for being a big bully. He stand. He doesn't. Nobody. He doesn't like when anybody messes with him. He gives a piece of his mind. He, he's completely strong. He, you mess with him. He doesn't like that. Trust me. But Vinny does shut. Does um show a bit of weakness once he's defeated. That's all I can say. So yeah, then that's all we'll be know about Vinny. Nothing else. That's just he's a big bully. Okay, so let's start with the review, shall we? So when I actually had to make Vinny, I actually didn't know. So when I actually saw the trailer uh, and saw what Vinny looked like, I thought of why not just use a Connor? You know, I had an extra spare con player of Connor that I can use. and I'm like, great. But didn't have a chassis until I gave it a chassis. Let's just give it a look, shall we? So... The face is actually made, f uh, came from a wooden railway Vinny, and it's small, but it was the only thing I had, so don't at me. And obviously he has his, like, little bars, you know, in front of it. I, it kind of reminds, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of reminds me of, you know, of, you know, like a football helmet, you know? Like, it kind of does, you know? And, and, and pers that, that's my opinion, okay? So yeah, he's actually made it from a Player O'Connor, heavily modified. This will look completely different to compare when I give like the International Engine Spotlight video that, that I made. Uh, I will put it in the link description below if you want to go check it out. But yeah, and Vinny, you know, just, uh, I decided to upgrade Vinny just a little bit. Um, okay, let me just skip. Okay, so his entire um, front, you know, this part here, I actually had to use clay, you know, with putty, you know. Tammy and putty, um, just give me one second. I'm going to show you something. This is what the putty I use. This is called the Tamian putty. It's actually its origin from Japan, but you can get it, get it from any hobby store um, if they're open. Mine is open and, and hand, so yeah. Vinny um, is painted in a, in a blue that I uh, got it from Michaels, and of course I painted in that blue, so as well as the wheels. Uh, the linings um, came out a bit very, very like, like very enlarged and like it's like saying like out of the way um yeah it's a bit of a clay you know on top of here i don't know what these are called i'm gonna call them fins only because it's that's the only word i, I can think of uh if you can see this actually have from clay and of course it's coming off i don't like it i don't know why that's coming off um i will fix that Eventually, yeah. So I actually had to hand brush, you know, like while well, doing like the front, such as the blue, and of course, um, also the sides as well here. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, the other alternative I could have used in order to make Vinny is uh, a Spencer, but I thought, you know, I mean, Connor had a more, you know. I had, by the time I had an extra Connor, a player of Connor, so I'm like, you know what, why not? Go with the flow. And yeah, you know, I decided to make, you know, made out of any, because like, I had a lot of elements that I just, that, that was useful for me. For example, like down this here, the slope, I could just paint that gray, and of course, just use paper just to make the cap, have the cap side, you know, details and all and whatnot. It was a really, like, you know, a hard working progress. He went through many, like, you know, uh, restorations that I had to complete. But I decided to show, show it to you guys only because, well, why not? I mean, I think 
you know, Vinny deserves, you know, his own recognitions. I mean, I would separate the body from the tender, but it's, yeah, you know. Nothing much to say about here for the body, except that I just use clay, you know, but the front here that was actually, it was actually, I thought, at first I thought it was black, but then I was like, you know what, oh, you know what, it's actually dark blue, like a very, like, navy royal dark blue. So I actually kind of mixed blue and black together and just like, you know, give this like, you know, beautiful color. It looks kind of like methe, but I digress. It was, that was okay for me. Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud as to how this look. I apologize if I'm like lifting it up and you can like see the motor. Um, that's a long story. I'd rather not dwell on that one, okay? Yeah. Um, it was kind of hard for me at first because, like, when I, you know, like, did the fins up here, here's the switch, and if I can just... Wait, does he have a battery? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he does. I just want to be careful. I'm just slapping it with my nail. Come on. I apologize. Oh. I apologize to you, people. Did you have to see this? I doesn't want to run. I mean, I'm hearing the motor. I'm hearing the motor. Do you guys hear the motor? Comment below if you hear the motor. Smash like if you hear the motor, okay? All right, good. All right, so now that we looked at Vinny, you know, just more of his uh, body, let's look at his uh, Valender, Vanderblood Tender. I believe that's what's what it's called. It's a cold development tender because it's not like it's unlike you know um, like any other tender. This tender actually you know contains like you know has the shape of a water tank and of a of a coal tender. You know it's combined as one. So what I did was that I actually when I was around like what like uh, six or five years old, I usually had had this extra track vest told me um tanker truck that I that was just lying around and I was like what if I put this to use and just made Vinny's tender um the first attempt I just like you know just added like you know uh index cards just to give it a more of a square shape but then I decided to cut that uh the butt the bottom piece and just give it more resemblance more of um of Vinny's uh tender um let's just look at the back of the Tender. It has no buffers. I, I did that on purpose only because a lot of Americans um, don't uh, require buffers. It just doesn't have a coupling because, uh, fun fact, I actually had went a lot of trial and errors, you know, just to get, you know, Vinny's coupling. You know, I tried an HO scale uh, knuckle coupling, then a, a no scale coupling, and yeah, you know. So, I don't, um, uh, uh, but then I'm like, you know what? Just use a regular coupling. It doesn't matter. Um, I had I added a lot of details on this one. Uh, not too proud of happy with the ladders. Yeah, these things are ladders, so they came out sloppy. So I'm just gonna buy some um, model kit uh, ladders. You know, his linings are just actually construction paper, and this was actually you know um, because um, well. Blue, yellow does not really want to, one doesn't want doesn't want to work with blue, unless if you're making green. So just bear that in mind, okay? But I think I love the tender how it looks. I just give you know like I did with clay, you know, just to give like you know extra detail. Uh, this is actually a one that's in a coal that I just use for the coal. Uh, oh shoot, oh, it's, it's coming apart. Um, I'll just have to super glue that, and yeah, you know, he should be okay. So yeah, that's the review on Vinny. Um, nothing much to say here. Um, he's I just printed out his number, um, the nameplate. I had the nameplate, but I lost it. Uh, uh, when I get a new printer, and if if mine works, um, I can print out you know his um, nameplates. But until then, ugh, he's gonna have to have, to have with no nameplates. Nothing much I can say about Vinny here, except that, you know, he is an awesome design. You know, I don't like his character trade, but then again, we we needed a bully, you know, just to teach kids that bullying is not okay. And, of course, uh, I think, you know, everyone enjoys a, that real good antagonist, you know, even if it's just a bully. So, yeah, um, Vinny is an okay character in my, in, in my book. So, yeah, nothing much to say about Vinny, except, you know, that's all for today. This is Steven Garcia, 118, signing off.
Thank you for watching. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below on your thoughts about on on this model. Okay. Until then, see you guys later.